You know, when days until the election, the FBI opened a new probe into Hillary's private server. Reportedly, emails were found on the computer of Clinton aide Uma Abedin's husband, Anthony Weiner. Okay? You following this, right? Okay. Who's under investigation for allegedly sexting a 15-year-old. The, yeah, so what you, the timing of this seems a little peculiar. I hope they're wearing a hazmat suit when they touch that computer, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. I think we can I, all agree I, I on that. <laughs> I think what's, what's uh, really difficult to comprehend is that the timing is uh, oftentimes in the Justice Department, you're, you're told that you can't release information uh, about a pending investigation and certainly not information that could affect an election. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was at the Justice Department for, for a couple of years and um, it's very clear to me and to other former prosecutors that this is just so unprecedented that it's just simply not done. I mean, when you're there, you have to sign all the policies, mm -hmm. if, you know, and, and you, you get notice of what the policies are. Right. And I can't imagine that the FBI director would do something like this. I've spent well, the weekend speaking to so many former prosecutors, and in fact, there's this open letter mm -hmm. from a hundred former prosecutors saying that this is wrong. And when I looked at it, there were at least four to five prosecutors that signed it that I worked with personally mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. trained me. And this, it shook me to my core right. because we take this responsibility so seriously as prosecutors and to have my former colleagues call out the head of the FBI for doing something that I'm not going to say it's criminal, but it certainly feels like an abuse of office. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm shocked. Well, the thing is, Comey made, Comey's been very front and center in this whole thing. I don't actually think he should have made the statement initially on the whole thing back, you know, a few months ago. July. Yeah, in July. Yeah. When he's, I, I don't think that should have come from him. I think they should have brought it to a grand jury. He's been very present. And he also made a promise to Congress and said, look, you know, I'm going to be as transparent with you through this process as I can. So if mm -hmm. anything comes up here, he made that promise to Congress, not to the Justice Department to Congress directly, I'm going to tell you. And I think he's in a position now where he's saying there is new information. He came out before and but the he implication the was... Information yep, is, oh, he's not saying, he he's not saying she's guilty. What he's saying is I told you before he's that this implying, case was closed. He's implying guilt. Not to that's, me, though. What, what, that's not I, how I read well, it. I, 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 I don't read know it. how you could read it any other way because I, so it's, it's like 12 minutes. Okay, but I read it as there's more information here than we knew. In other words, there's a new device. There are more emails. We're going to investigate it. We're not implicating her, but, yeah, but to those of you that I told the case is closed, it's not closed, we're still looking. And I think he feels like not only did he have an obligation to Congress to do that, but to, de to defend and protect the name of the FBI as an institution, he felt, look, the case isn't closed. But he People need to know that. For it, Jed. He had cover. There are Department of Justice guidelines that say he can't do what he did. So that obligation to the United States government, to his office, certainly supersedes Anything and, else? And also, I'm sorry. It does. But he's, so, to me, it's not. He's not so saying. He's, he's so guilt. he's saying that there are new emails mm -hmm. that are on Anthony Weiner's server right. that he shares with his wife. Her laptop. Now, so let me ask you this, because maybe I'm crazy, but when they first went after all these emails. Wouldn't they have known there was this other server? No, because How would she, they, because she testified under oath. Right, right. Well, but when when they older, did, but when she had they given did, her devices but, over. This but she did, device. it wasn't her device. But, no, but she, why didn't they know? I'm sorry, if there are emails from Uma to... Anthony. To, no, no, to, to Hillary. To Hillary, Hillary. Yeah. I don't understand how, on one end, whichever end it was, how they didn't know there was another device involved. I, I, I don't think the either they didn't do a, as thorough a job as we thought they did, or this is BS. The problem here, though, is you have Hillary Clinton. The, the, thousands of emails were deleted. Then you have di 13 just, devices but why, of hers so that are destroyed. And now these emails to, pop up, which Uma Abedin you know had an that, obligation. Do you know that legal, George W. Bush got rid of 2 million emails? That's that's not, that's not right either, 22 though. 22 million. 22 million. But 22, 22 million emails. Disappeared. Disappeared. That's not Nobody right either, said, though. Well, but, you know... If you're... There was no nobody went there. after good him, for the and he started a war. Nobody asked him. He started a war, okay? Now, listen. Again, I get 
that people have their feelings about her, whatever, but they have not found anything on her. And for him to come out and make the first comment that he made in July, mm -hmm. saying, you know, well, we can't really take her to task for anything because there's nothing there, but we can't really do anything. Knowing that every president has the, or, or person who works in the government has this ability to get rid of some emails. They do because they're not for you to look at, they're not for you to look at. But to suddenly come back out of the blue and say, well, we didn't know these emails were there seems very bull poopy. Well, can I, <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Why is it that I don't, maybe I don't know the law that well, but there's no investigation into, until after the election of fraud at Trump University. That's after the election, we're gonna hear about that. Wait a minute. Uh, then there are these allegations from 11 women about sexual assault. We'll hear about that after the election. PolitiFact has called Trump the, the biggest liar of the year. He lies about everything. He has a shady past regarding his foundation. He also has a rape case pending. Well, that... Okay, so these are the things that I, as, as an American citizen, why am I only listening about somebody's emails? Why am I not hearing from the authorities about these cases? Well, and, 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 I, and, and I think you, you see the discussion that we're all having? This is the type of discussion that you don't need to have. And that is why the FBI director should not be releasing this kind so of information then, Sonny, right yeah, before but, but an election. The question to for me. this panel then is, how will this impact the election? Because a lot of people, they don't know about whether it's good or it's bad or anything. Mm -hmm. They see a headline. The, you know, a lot of people just respond to slogans and headlines, make America yeah. great again, and that's enough for them to vote. Well, yeah. And one, this is the same situation. Right. These one are not thing, people who look at Sonny had said right. before how, how respected Comey is oh, okay yeah. so he has that reputation when he came out and said that there was she had acted carelessly mm -hmm. but she, no reasonable prosecutor mm -hmm. would put forth mm -hmm. charges yeah. there was a lot of stuff that came out of the FBI then of people saying we had enough we should have acted remember all those leaks afterwards mm -hmm. yeah I feel like this is the pendulum swinging the other way after that I think his his name and his reputation took a hit I think yeah. he's trying to show that he's not leaning one way or the other that's not his job and, and that's not his job it and, isn't and it isn't and, but I, I think, think that's so troubling what's yeah but can I know, say, and to your point what struck me is you know Comey is, has been beyond reproach. This is a guy who we all respected and believed in. Obama he, appointed him. Yes, yeah, and, he, and, 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 he, he, and he's a Republican. Yeah, right. And he was also a, a prosecutor. And so I always respected him. This doesn't make sense to me. It, it, it Some, feels a, a little There's a beat missing. There's a beat missing. It feels missing. a little hoover I just, and I'm, I'm shocked. Can I just say in response to Joy, you talked about the yeah. investigations about yeah. Trump. Yeah. I think all of those things should be investigated. I think the difference with Hillary Clinton is that she was Secretary of State. Donald Trump works for himself. Hillary Clinton worked for us. And the implication that there could be national security information at risk makes this story more important than... Yeah, Donald Trump has character issues, and I want to know all about that. But right. she worked for us. Her responsibility was to the but, American but people. Again, but, 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 but hold on. To the character issue, this is a man who bragged about going into a into a uh, dressing room where teenage girls were Should dressing. be investigated. I'm I not mean, saying come on. No. Talk about so, character so issues. Let's, let's talk the about, let's talk of the, about land. the fact that, that uh, she was Secretary of State. She was Secretary of State. The president didn't seem to have an issue with her. Nobody else seemed to have an issue with her. And this is after they knew. Before all, she said she was running. They all knew that she had been using uh, a different kind yes. of uh, machine. They then changed how things are looked at, and something suddenly became, uh, uh, what is the word, classified, yeah, you know? Classified information, and yeah. after the fact, and so it makes it very hard to take it seriously when you suddenly say, oh, and look, I just, I didn't even notice was there. When you seem to have done this probe already, you've been up her, her, uh, her cloud, you know, you've been up <laughs> Hillary's cloud, and I don't get why you don't know that she, that Uma is sharing a server with her husband that she has used to contact her boss. Well, not sure. the, the fact server, that she testified fact, that she... But one she, legal question I have yeah. for Sonny is, when, when that's going on, isn't it Uma Abedin's responsibility to say some of these emails may be on this, this yeah. computer that well, I shared? Well, you would see it. They would, that's, that's what they would be Absolutely. investigating. I mean, this, this was not her device. 
And so this was Anthony Weiner's device. So right. if she accessed emails on that device, should she have disclosed that? I, I she would. May. I would. I would think she may have. Oh, I would think. Okay. I would so think she it. would say. You know, this is so not all it is. Has the FBI used wait, wait, some hold, other device? Hold on, hold on, because they're Anthony, saying we got to go. I know, but we're who and Anthony are we'll not right running back. for president? Okay, let's go.